Welcome to my second tutorial in Adobe Illustrator CS5. I'm going to go through some additional tools to help you uh, to learn how to illustrate in Illustrator. Um, I think you'll find this useful, so let's get started. I'm going to come over here and set a background color. Let's make it blue. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape. And let's create a star. You can click once and it'll show you the points. So if you want to make a triangle, you can make a triangle, but we're going to leave it at five points and we have ourselves a star. Let's make the fill color orange. I'm going to take that star and let's make it three dimensional. So I'm going to go effect, 3D, extrude and bevel. Click OK. I'm just going to leave the settings as is. That's a 3D star. Next, I'm going to go to effect again. And we'll stylize drop shadow. Very simple way to make a drop shadow. Um, the offset is minus 13.13 inches. I think that works for me. Um, you can adjust the blur and the color. I'm gonna leave it as is. Click OK. And there you go. That's how you can make a three-dimensional object with a drop shadow. Um, next thing, let's do this. Let's lock that layer click up here. If you're not familiar with Illustrator, this is your first time using it. Over here um, in the layers panel, you can hide the layers. So you can continue working, but it's still going to be there. Uh, just not in the way of your work. Um, let's create a new symbol. I'm going to show you a spray can. So I'm going to create some snow here. And I'm going to create a circle. Make the fill color white. We'll have the edges a little light gray. I'm going to create a very small circle. But this time, when I create a symbol with a graphic, I'm going to bring it in here into the symbols panel, drag it in there, call it snow. Now I'm going to take my spray can, and since I have this selected already, watch what happens. Very convenient when you're working in illustration where you got to create a lot of random uh, appearances of the symbol. So that's some snow. The next thing we're going to do is I'll create some clouds. So I'm going to hide this layer. And also, if you're not familiar with uh, how the, the layers panel works, you could double click the layer and I can rename it called snow. And this one's called star. When you have big projects or even small projects, it's a very good way of organizing. Down here, I can create a new layer. Let's call this one clouds. And 10 years ago in school, this is how I was making my clouds in Illustrator. I think it was like Illustrator 10 or something like that. But um, I would take a few circles. Brings back some memories doing this. And I would just group them together to form a cloud. And it kind of looks like a cloud. I go to Object. And select Group. So you hit it once, and it's grouped together. Let's rotate it a little bit. Take that, go to Effect. And we can also, um, we can create a blur. Let's go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And let's set it at 20 pixels. And then we can take, select it, and then click Alt. And we're creating additional clouds. Let's show everything. That's kind of weird, a weird illustration. Um, <laughs> let me uh, create another layer. And we can come up here. And let's create... Um, some grass here. Now you see in the layers uh, panel how the, what's on bottom is on the bottom and what's on top is going to be on top and that's how the layers are as I um, I was talking about that in the first tutorial I did in here, uh, Illustrator. Next we can hide this or actually let's just lock it and create a new layer. And I'm just creating some hills here.
come over here to the snow. You can adjust the size of your snow if you wanted to. You can also take the layer over here, bring it on top, so we can have the star on top of everything. Unlock that so we can move it around. I just want to show you guys two more things uh, with gradient type. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create myself a custom gradient. So let's come over here to the gradient panel, select white, and also blue. Next I'm going to come to swatches, create myself a new swatch, it says new gradient, click OK. Now I have myself a new gradient, I'm going to select the type tool now. Go type, create outlines, and I'm going to select that uh, custom swatch. You can also come over here, change the degrees of the gradient direction of it. You can also take the direct selection tool and adjust the size of the type here. You can also do other things with the type once you create the outlines. You can just play around with it. So that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys later.